back at it now, I feel like if we had done this module for let's say a year as to opposed to doing it for just one semester, then maybe I would have understood it more. guys how you doing thank you so much for clicking to watch this video my name is Rumbi I am a nursing student in Lublin Poland and I make nursing school videos and lifestyle videos as well I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button if you like the video if you share it with your friends we just passed 950 subscribers oh my god I'm so excited we are on our way to 1k i can't wait for that so i'd really appreciate your support guys so today i am going to be talking about my experience when i started my bsc nursing degree so i'll be focusing on the first semester only so please take note that the information that i'm about to share with you guys happened in 2019 when nobody knew that there was a pandemic coming. In 2019, we had contact classes only all day, every day, Monday to Friday. Guys, I wasn't ready for this. I thought that, you know, since it was the first semester, we would have so much free time that we would be able to, you know, explore the new country that we had just moved into. But no, it wasn't like that. I remember that I had to leave home around 7 in the morning and then come back home after 8. That's just how hectic my shirt was. Um, I remember that I didn't even bother to look for a job because, I mean, I didn't have the time. The only free time that I had was on Saturday and on Sunday, only the weekend. So I would spend most of that time at home doing my laundry, doing my my hair <laughs> yeah and i would also cook meals for the next coming week because guys when you get home after eight you're just exhausted all you want to do is just eat and sleep <laughs> so i would make sure that i cook um and stock my food in the fridge for the coming week otherwise i had to survive with noodles yeah you know those instant noodles that's what i used to eat during my first semester because I was just so, you know, tired from all the classes, you know, lasting up to eight in the evening. But guys, I remember that I had to study hard during my first semester, you know, all the weekend after doing my laundries and whatever, I would then be on the book. Like I, I was forced to be a bookworm, but yeah, <laughs> I had to study hard because I didn't understand what the teachers were saying at first, like during the first month. This was my first time traveling abroad and this was my first encounter with people of many nationalities, you know, speaking in English. So it took me a while to understand the Polish English accent, you know, so I had to study hard. I had to study extra just to make sure that I understand what the teachers were saying. Please, guys, those who are already in Dublin, let me know if you had the same experience, because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Guys, it took me a while to, you know, actually get used to hearing that accent, to hearing that English, you know, uh, slow, Slavic english you know mixed together and yeah so yeah but i thank god that all our teachers were you know english speakers so we never had a translator during the first semester so, oh my god we had already been shocked by the fact that only 37 percent of Poles actually speak english and the majority of them at that time were in warsaw the capital so we had just been shocked uh, by that and then we couldn't understand what the teachers were saying but at least they were speaking in english so yeah that was quite an experience you know during my first semester i had 12 classes so i had 12 teachers 
but all in all i had 10 modules so some of the modules had two teachers one for uh, classes and one for lectures the first module that we had was anatomy so anatomy was divided into two lectures and classes i loved anatomy i still love it even up to now <laughs> that was the most easiest module for me but then guys anatomy lectures was easy i loved it i passed it so easily um because well i had a background in human anatomy so that was the reason why it was easy but then the classes hmm, hmm. Uh, guys i felt like we were being taught anatomy for medical students that's just how difficult that module was i almost didn't pass it i remember that very very well i came back home and i cried and i cried and i was like oh my god if this is how hard nursing is going to be like then please send me back home to africa i can't afford to waste my parents money <laughs> oh my god yeah that was me in first semester that guys anatomy classes was just hard guys it was hard but thank god that i eventually passed it and yeah it's done <laughs> and the second most difficult module for me in first semester was biochemistry and biophysics looking back at it now i feel like if we had done this module for let's say a year as to opposed to doing it for just one semester then maybe i would have understood it more i don't know maybe when it came to you know biochem physics i was just a slow learner i don't know it was just hard for me guys it was just hard and i am happy that i passed it i didn't have to do a retake i just passed it at once i think i had a three that is equal to a c but i was very happy with it i didn't even want to do a rewrite so that i can maybe get um a better grade i was just happy with that c and i was okay with it i didn't want to do it anymore we also had pedagogy where we learned about montessori and we had psychology we had sociology uh public health and nutrition <laughs> i'll never forget our nutrition teacher guys oh my god he was just cool you'd you know connect with us as students and he made his classes interesting we never missed any of his classes because that's just how cool you know he was and we loved him we also had polish language as a module so when you are studying the bsc in nursing you have two years of learning polish language as a module so that's like four semesters um during the first semester of nursing you learn the basic basic most basic a0 polish language that's the alphabet you learn how to pronounce the letters you learn are uh, the basic greetings like jim dobry dobry vicho you know all of the basic stuff but guys i cannot stress this enough you need to learn polish please start when you are still at home when you have not yet arrived here in poland because you need this you need it um as a nurse you need to communicate with your patients and honestly it's hard to do that if you do not know the patient's language so please learn polish if you can before you even arrive here in lublin poland we also had um microbiology as a module microbiology and parasitology <laughs> we learned about the parasites we learned viruses fungi and all of that and we also learned the diseases that they cause in the human body the 11th and 12th module that i had was fundamentals of nursing so fundamentals of nursing was divided into two classes and lectures and we had separate teachers for each so the lectures this is when they would teach us the nursing theories you know just the profession as a whole and then in the classes we would attend to mannequins in the school lab <laughs> this is where they taught us how to you know measure the vital signs of the patient would measure the blood pressure would measure the temperature the breathing rate oxygen saturation and all of that we were also taught you know the, the basic skills of nursing 
and these were inserting the um, IV or the Venflon as they call it here in Poland and we were also taught how to bathe the patient, how to bandage you know wounds and dress them. We were also taught how to insert a feeding tube to patients who cannot eat on their own. So it was quite interesting. I loved the classes and I hope that you guys will love them too because these are the most important classes of them all. Fundamentals as a module uh, is done for a year and I thank God for that because honestly it is very important. It is you know the most important module where you learn how to be a nurse. If you don't do well in this module then you will probably have problems when you are working in the hospital you know so you guys need to pay particular attention to this module make sure you attend all the classes especially the classes that you have in the lab it i know it's it may not be interesting doing it on mannequins but you know practice makes perfect so if you practice a lot on the mannequins when you got when you finally go to the hospital you will be confident enough you know and you will be knowing what you are doing so i hope that you guys will love this module as i did all in all my experience uh during the first semester of nursing it was okay it wasn't bad <laughs> it crushed me honestly because i that's when i realized that when you are in this profession you don't have a social life like my first semester was just so hectic so busy i didn't even go out i didn't even you know go to the club go to the party go i didn't go anywhere i would spend my free time at home so hmm, i thank god that when we got into second semester it was better but that's information for another video i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it shed more light as to what you can expect when you are going into your first semester if you guys want to know more about the second semester and all the other semesters that followed let me know in the comments if you haven't subscribed please do i would really appreciate your support we are almost at 1k Ooh, i'm so excited please share the video with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next video